So, so let's start sitting and we'll make our way slowly up to standing. And hmm, yeah, maybe let's begin on all fours. Seems like a good place to start. So hands beneath shoulders, knees beneath hips. And we can slowly wake our bodies up. Maybe we can find a bit of sunshine inside us, even if it's not present outside today. Okay, so let's begin from the tailbone. As you exhale, tuck the tailbone down. And let the ripple effect move up the spine. As you drop your chin towards your chest. And heart presses up towards the sky. And then tailbone turns to face upwards. As the ripple effect moves through the spine, and your heart moves forward between the gate of your arms and you look ahead. You're probably not going to look straight ahead. Keep looking down at the floor so your neck doesn't feel um, clunky in any way. Tailbone leads as you exhale and tuck down. And we're slowing it right down so we get to actually experience the feeling of movement through the spine. So each vertebrae can move in isolation, but the truth is, of course, that we're just one continuum of movement, connective tissue. Nothing really is in isolation, but you do get a nice sense of parts of the spine that can move independently and parts of the spine that move as one long chunk. It's not uncommon. And then come to neutral and let's do some shoulder circles here. And that will ripple across the whole of the spine and the torso. It's not going to be in isolation again but you do get a sense of the movement in a different way to when you're sitting. And then dropping your chin to your chest, come again to neutral and sweep right ear to right shoulder. It's just your little semicircles, so chin comes down towards chest, left ear to left shoulder. Again on each side. And coming back to centre, let's walk hands forward so that we get the chance to move the hips in some slow, steady circles. So hopefully you've got some cushioning under your knees to make that feel comfortable. Big and slow circles. Changing direction. And coming back with your hands underneath your shoulders. Tuck your toes under. Let's wake our feet up with a little bit of fire toes. We've got a late come up. So sitting back on your heels, you can maybe lay one hand on your heart, one hand on your tummy. And as you inhale, feel how that expands across the whole of the torso. Hopefully the tummy fills your hand as you inhale. And as you exhale, pull everything in towards the spine. If that feels uncomfortable on your toes, then you can always have your hands on the floor. That takes a bit of pressure off. We stretch out the plantar fascia. And then bringing your hands to the floor, tap the tops of your feet. And then sit back on your heels. We're going to take right arm up, bend the elbow, bring the hand between the shoulder blades, and sweep the left hand up behind. So it looks a little bit like this. Everyone's shape is different. 
especially shoulders are often a little bit battle weary in life they seem to take a lot of a lot of our challenges don't they so if you've had an injured shoulder then go super gentle so you're trying to point the right elbow up towards the sky and the left elbow points towards the, the floor and then your neck is really easy in between there's no tension here keep the shoulders away from the ears and then release give the shoulders a little shake and we'll do the other side so left arm comes up the elbow bends right arm sweeps up behind you and it might be very different this side to the other side that's very usual so the left elbow points up towards the sky the right elbow points down towards the ground and there's a really nice easiness around the neck And then releasing the arms come back onto all fours so we're doing a twist to detox practice today so let's add the first of the twists take the left arm thread it beneath the right armpit drop the left ear to the floor keep the bottom up high see if you can take some even deeper exhales here Press down through the right hand to come back up onto all fours. We'll switch sides. So right hand threads beneath left armpit and right ear drops to the floor. Deep exhales. Pressing down through the left hand gives you the chance to come back up onto all fours once more. And we'll come and sit up on our knees. And we're going to bring the right foot forward. We're going to take a twist to the whole of the body now. We're going to walk that foot across the front of us so it's going, the right foot is heading over to the left. And then the knees are going to cross. The feet are going to separate out behind you. And you're going to come to sit down between your heels. Now, if you're feeling tight like I am this morning, a cushion is handy. Maybe even two. Then you can pop the cushions behind you. And they kind of bring the floor up to meet your bottom. And see if you can take hold of your big toes, sitting up nice and tall. And then bring the right elbow in front of you 90 degrees. Hmm. I said right, didn't I? Bring the left elbow in front of you 90 degrees. The right comes over the top. The palms wrap around till they can come together in front of you. So your thumbs are kind of at eye level. And your palms press into one another. And maybe the elbows can push a little further forward. It's just a nuance. It's not a big move. And you can breathe into the space at the back of your heart. then unravel the arms take the hands down to the floor and we're going to unravel the legs so if you're working with cushions like I am your feet are either side of the cushion here and then the left foot comes forward and we walk it across to the right knees cross feet separate behind you and you come to sit down between your heels holding onto your big toes.
And now the right elbow comes forward 90 degrees. Left comes up over the top, palms face one another, press into one another. Elbows push forward, breathing into the space between the, the shoulder blades. quite a pretzel of a pose. And the more you bring the squeeze in, so you really find your midline and bring everything into that space, the more of a twisty detox this pose is. And then unraveling arms. Taking your hands forward, unraveling legs, Coming back onto all fours. I'm going to move the cushions out of the way. Okay, tuck the toes under, press down through the palms, keep the knees bent and come into a nice down dog with spine really, really tall. The gift of having the bent knees is that the spine gets to be as long as possible, creating space between the vertebrae. Start to elevate the hips, let them float as the heels drop down towards the floor and the legs will consequently start to straighten. Then sweep the knees from side to side, so it's almost like you're doing a little slalom ski with your legs and you get a nice gentle twist to the side body. And then coming back to neutral. Take the weight to the left hand, pick the right hand up and see if you can take hold of the left ankle looking underneath the left armpit. Keep pressing down through the left hand, tailbone is high, deep breath. And then returning to both hands. Feels so good when you get to all fours after being lopsided. And then shift the weight to the right hand. Pick the left hand up and take hold of the right ankle. Turning your gaze underneath your right armpit. And keep pushing down through the right hand. And then returning to all fours. Take a moment to drop both heels down towards the floor a little bit more. Push the sitting bones towards the back of the mat. And then shift the weight to your left foot as the right leg rises. A three-legged down dog. Bend the top knee, swivel the hips. Nice opening up through the side body. Inhale as you return to a three-legged down dog and as you exhale, place the foot forward between your hands. And we're going to drop that back knee for the first round. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, float the rib cage. And exhale, left elbows come across. Sorry, left elbow. We've only got one of them, haven't we? Palms come towards one another. Right elbow lifts towards the ceiling. And you turn your gaze in the direction of your fingertips. And then from here, you're going to see if you can start to edge your heart so that it can line up with your thumbs. Use your exhale. Inhale as you come back, reach your arms up high. Let's take a little runner stretch because it's too good not to add. So bring your hands to the floor, slide the sitting bones back, keep that heel grounded, toes can point upwards. Inhale, heart lifts. Exhale, heart guides you into a forward fold. Three times. we 
walking your hands forwards. Sorry, and walking your hips forwards. Inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, hands to the floor, step your knees together. Return to a little down dog. And then start to float forwards so you come into a high plank. Inhale as you come back to a down dog. Exhale as you float forwards. Inhale as you come back. And exhale as you float forwards. Place the right hand in the centre of the mat. Drop the heels to the right. Reach the left arm up. Hips and heart rising. Try not to sink into that bottom shoulder. Keep pushing the earth away. Quite nice sometimes to take that top arm alongside the ear. Palm faces the floor and you get a really nice stretch through the side body. And bring the hand back up. And return both hands to the floor. High plank. Take an inhale as you come back into down dog. Exhale as you float forwards. Inhale as you come back. Exhale as you float forwards. Left hand comes to the centre of the mat. Heels drop to the left. Right hand rises, right hips rise, right heart rises, <laughs> right heart, your heart rises and then reach that arm alongside your ear, palm faces the floor. You can hear the sound of your breath, inhale as that arm rises again. And bring both hands flat to the floor, coming into a high plank. Let's lower ourselves down to the ground, dropping the knees and the hips, rolling the shoulders away from the ears, inhaling as you come up, and exhaling as you go back into a down dog. Right foot stays down, left foot rises. Bend the top knee, swivel the hips, looking over to the left. Returning to three-legged down dog. And as you exhale, bring the foot forward between your hands, dropping the back knee. Inhale as the arms rise. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, ribcage lifts. And exhale, right elbow comes across, palms press into one another, left elbow points towards the ceiling. And you have a little bit of time, so feel free to wriggle around. Your heart starts to line up with your thumbs. Inhale as your arms rise. Exhale, hands down either side of that front foot. Sweep the sitting bones back. Keep that front heel anchored. Runners stretch. Inhale as you look up. Exhale as you fold. When you're ready, inhale as you come forwards. Reach your arms up either side. Exhale, hands to the floor, stepping back. Let's go to a high plank and take a vinyasa. Taking a moment in down dog. Inhale, reach the right leg up. Exhale, step the right foot forward. Knee can hover this time. Inhale as you come up. 
and exhale, left elbow across, palms together, taking the rotation once more. Opening the arms out wide, so the left hand comes down to the floor, little toe edge of that front foot, and the, left, the right arm rises. And being led by this top hand, you're going to inhale as you come up into a rotated reverse warrior. So now the left hand is high, the right hand is down. And as you exhale, the left hand is going to lead you forward, so we're going to come into a reverse half moon. Bringing the left leg up behind you, right hand rises. Keep scooping the tummy in, keep breathing that deep breath, hearing the exhale. As you exhale, bend the supporting leg, tuck the left knee behind, lower yourself all the way down to the ground, and you're going to come into a seated twist. Hands can come either side of your hips. Inhale, reach the left arm up, and exhale, take the elbow across, right hand comes behind you. Use your breath. Feel how that really changes what's going on in the tummy, in the diaphragm, in the lungs. The spine is adapting, the ribs are adapting. And this beautiful massage ripple effect is happening through the whole digestive system. Okay, returning hands either side of that front foot. We'll come up and step straight back. Take a little vinyasa. Inhaling up, exhaling back. Left leg rises as you inhale, and as you exhale, step the left foot forward. Back knee hovers. Inhale, arms rise. And as you exhale, right elbow comes across, palms come together. Pausing for some breath. Opening the arms wide in either direction. On the next inhale, the left hand is going to lead you as your torso rises. And you're going to come into a reverse exalted warrior. And then this right hand leads you into a reverse half moon. So right hand comes in front of left foot. And right leg rises, left arm rises, looking across to the left. Soften the supporting knee, tuck the right knee behind as you lower yourself down to the ground. Hips come to the floor, legs will be crossed. Right arm rises tall as the exhale brings the elbow across and the left hand behind. It's a kind of twisty pretzel flow today. Inhale, sweep the hands forwards. Coming up onto your hands, stepping both feet back, lowering yourself down to the ground, inhaling, up face dog, exhaling, down face dog. Let's come back to a high plank, drop your knees and lower yourself down to the ground. Now this next little posture, it's quite specific, the positioning of the, leg, of the arms. So if you lie on your tummy, I want you to take your arms out either side into cactus. That means 
that your elbows are bent 90 degrees and your elbows are lined up with your shoulders. And let's turn your head to face the left, so your right ear is on the floor. And just edge the right, the right elbow maybe an inch higher. Both arms still flat to the floor. And then you're going to pick up your left elbow and place your hand, your left hand, where the elbow was. So that becomes a little kickstand. As you push down through the left hand, you're going to roll your hips to the side. So you're going to come lying on your side. Your right elbow is behind you. Okay, and then returning to your front, forehead to the floor, bring both arms back into cactus, so both arms, both elbows parallel with shoulders. Turn your head so the left ear comes to the floor. Nudge the left elbow just an inch higher. Both arms still flat to the floor. And then bring your right hand to exactly where your elbow was, your right elbow. So this becomes the little kickstand. And then you're going to roll onto your side, so you're on your left hip, right hip is up in the air, supported by the right arm, and breathing into your shoulder. Exhaling as you come back down. Bring your hands either side of your chest. Roll the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale as you come up into a nice cobra. And then come back on your heels as you exhale, arms stretched out in front of you. Walk hands over to the right. Push the left sitting bone away. And then walk hands through center. And then over to the left, pushing the right sitting bone away. Returning to center, walking your hands in. And coming to sitting. As we close our practice with a little prayer. The love inside of me sees the love inside of you. We say that to each and every one of us here today and to all sentient beings of all time. <laughs>